Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. On Wednesday, U.S. Senator Mitch McConnell visited Pike County to discuss pressing issues within the state and the nation. In his visit, McConnell was joined by the Pikeville Rotary Club, where he took questions about Afghanistan from members. Well, the whole evacuation was a botched job. I mean, if, if you would, thought it was a good idea to evacuate, which I did not think, at least you'd take enough time to get all of our equipment out. As it was, I gather we destroyed or made inoperative some of it, but we've actually allowed them to not only run us out of the country, but to have, have new weapons and Humvees and other uh, military equipment uh, free of charge. Outrageous. Although opposed to leaving Afghanistan entirely, Senator McConnell's message to troops was congratulatory, stating that what they did worked. Uh, we had the Taliban out of power. Afghanistan was not a haven for people, terrorists trying to hit us again here. Your part of this worked. What the president did by pulling the rug out from under our deployment is send us back to where we were after nine, uh, before 9-11. We're right back where we were before 9-11. The Taliban in charge of the country and the country open for terrorists who want to hit us again here at home. When asked about America's future involvement, McConnell responded that only a mass casualty on America's homeland would provoke a response. Afterwards, in regards to America's future steps with the Taliban, McConnell says he thinks we're stuck. Well, we're, we're stuck with hoping for cooperation from the Taliban to get our people out, uh, to get uh, interpreters and others who worked with us out. Um, we'll see whether this is a new and different Taliban from the one we've observed over the years. Um, a disastrous decision. Um, I hope we don't see what I expect we may coming out of there in the future. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.